And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary, and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on live action from Italy's top division, Serie A. It's Salernitana, and they take on Empoli. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And the lineup for the home side. Well, it's a 4 3 3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. And the starting 11 for Empoli. Well, it's a 4 4 2, but with a number 10 playing off the two strikers. If he can find space, pick the right passes, and at times run with the ball, he could be the match winner today. And now they get the ball rolling. And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Running with the ball confidently. Well, high marks for that pass. And he favours the inside route. Veseli. Keeping it moving dynamically. It's there for him. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Who's going to get on the end of it? And just wide with the header. Referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Useful looking ball. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. <laughs> Corner kick played in. And I think the threat has been averted. Parisi. Andrea Pinamonti. Options in the middle. Well clattered away. It's a weighted pass. And the keeper won't be complaining about that cross. Poor quality. Uh, 
Lise Mousset. Promising attack this. Can they get in behind them? And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Petar Stojanovic. Tonelli now. Henderson. Andrea Pinamonti. Di Francesco. Pinamonti has it. Options in the centre. However, nothing comes of it. Under some pressure. Fazio. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Good looking ball. Oh, a lovely ball. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, here it is again. And what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it. And what a great finish it is. Struck with power and accuracy. Certainly no stopping that. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Really getting stuck in. And that was a very fine read. Well, getting close to the half-time interval and the story so far, they're not really making home advantage count. Stuart, your take? Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Great block. And short it is. Crossing into the middle. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half. And now they get... As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Ricci. Well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory. How can he take them on and beat them? Decent position. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Pasquale Mazzocchi. No high quality defending. Pinamonti. Well, spot on with that challenge. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Terrific block. 
Defensive efficiency personified. Simone Verdi. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Couldn't keep the ball. And that's great work to keep it in play. Well, we're into the final half hour. Parisi. Henderson. Mastery of the passing game. Space and time for the cross. Bici. He's got to have a go here. Really good diving save. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. And over comes the corner. Well, not the best clearance. And in the end, no damage done. Ribéry. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Parisi. Ricci. Well, they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Good use of advantage by the referee. And the emphasis is on creativity. But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. It looks promising. Cutting the ball back. Can't miss, surely. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So 2-0 now. Radovanovic. Frank Ribéry. And back with Ribéry. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Joel Obi Radovanovic getting in there to intercept counter attacking very much an option and they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move Ribéry well, approaching full time, and this is wearing the look of Mission Impossible for the home side, Stuart. Well, they've been second best, that's for sure, and the main problem has been in midfield, where they've been overrun at times. They just haven't been able to get enough possession. It's not been a good performance today. And a decent delivery, and the danger still on. Now he must favour the cross. Razvan Marin and that is the end of the game it goes into the history books as a home defeat
You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball, and then just a few mistakes at the back, and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. Well, I don't think, Stu, as anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really, scored a good goal, and they won the game. An excellent day all round.